is five minute time limit. And here's how it really goes down. It starts with an idea, concept. This is that pitch Pete said to me, of what if we go inside a kid's head? Um, we do whiteboards. This is the whiteboard picture I took from up. We, we do much thinking. We put things on index cards. We produce a treatment. There's Bob Peterson, who was the voice of Doug in Inside Out, and Mr. Ray, and Nemo, and one of our writers. Uh, and we whiteboard the, the story card, the whole movie up on boards. We produce a treatment, which we hope that gets approved. We read that to John Lasseter, if it does, a version or two. We move on to a script, and, and we spend all this time over all these years. There's our script. Treatments, more treatments, we iterate, we versions of the script. We finally get a script approved, at least we hope to. We figure out all the plot holes, then we move it into story. This is one of our story artists drawing, and we do a ton of storyboards, thousands of storyboards. I think we've, we've done you know, over 150,000 storyboards on Inside Out. We cut these all together with temporary dialogue and music and so forth, sound effects, but we produce sort of simulation of what the movie will look like. These are drawing drawings that we can do, kind of look like all this. And uh, at that point, we bring it into the Pixar screening room. That's, that's uh, us standing in front of the company, and we screen the movie for them. We do this every three or four months. And this is like the worst, most nerve-wracking moments <laughs> of my life, because we make the movie probably nine or 10 times before the movie that you see in the theaters. And nine or 10 times, about eight or nine of them are really bad versions of the movie. And, uh, but anyways, it's part of our process. Somewhere in the middle of all this, we, you know, we get all these are screenings, these little pitch marks here, but we get all the way to the end, every four months we screen or so, we get a sequence approved. You know, we get a sequence from John Lasseter, so that's where you start, start making your movie, start animating. And that's where we get about a year later, 100%, it takes another year to prove our story. And this little blue hash mark, that's the production, that's where we're actually building things and animating shots and lighting shots. So it's a very small period of time that we're doing all that. And then you get a finished film. It's that easy. <laughs> <laughs> or less. And this whole thing, like I said, takes about five years. And you'll notice our process allows for a lot of redoing. It takes over and over. And this is because all our films, are, they get stuck early on. I'm not just being humble here. They really get stuck in the mud and we have to move things around. We make a lot of mistakes. Ed Capital, the president of the company, says our job at Pixar is to be wrong as quickly as, as we can do it. So we have this system that we hope allows for it. And in this case, um, this is the original outline. This is taken at Skywalker Ranch, and uh, this is what Pete had typed up and pitched for the original outline of Inside Out about an 11-year-old kid. But like I said, the kid isn't our protagonist. She's not our main character. She's our setting, because inside her head are her emotions, our main characters. And we took this basic pitch, this piece of paper, and we went to John Lasseter to tell him about it. And this is John's office, no joke. This is John Lasseter's office. And we thought, man, it's too distracting in here, so let's go somewhere else. So we went over to our story room, which is uh, just a little white room, and we cut together some video reference, and we read up that pitch, and John loved it. He fell in love with just that idea and uh, thought it was interesting. He told us to do it. So this was in 2010, and um, this is us. This is me and Ronnie O'Connor, our co director, and uh, one of the most amazing story artists in the world at the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. It's right across the, the, the bay from the Pixar. And uh, uh, we love it here. This is, you know, so it wasn't the, the company, this was by the family, so this was Diane Disney Miller started this, Walt's daughter. And we asked her, uh, this is how she's passed away, so said, if we could come over there and work in there, one of their conference rooms. So we, we got to go camp out over there. This is, uh, this is Michael Arndt over here, Ronnie, and that's Pete Docter. And one of my jobs as a producer is to try to steer the creative team to make a decision. You can imagine, with an animated movie, there's a million decisions to try to make. And since our process is iterative, every idea is built upon. My job is to try to pinpoint it down. When you see the movie, the main little girl's name is Riley. And, they, and we had written that up. We walked outside, we found we were on Riley Avenue in San Francisco, the studio. And I said, okay, what about that? Can we decide on that? And they said, okay. So that was my kind of 